Bus, which is a platform that enables uh, data to be exchanged and for IT process uh, automation to be performed. And uh, there's a lot of competition in this area, and so what makes us special is that we've added uh, support for AI and data science basically to be tightly integrated uh, with enterprise technologies and to provide uh, data orchestration, data uh, exchanges, and uh, IT process automations driven by AT, uh, AI and data science. So the problem that we're solving is when you have an AI or data science startup, uh, basically you're focused on your analytics, you're focused on providing uh, your high-tech uh, value uh, through your AI and uh, data science solution, and when you go to scale, then uh, suddenly you need to figure out how to deploy your uh, solution in various environments. You need to have access to data. You need to uh, drive uh, process automation based on your insights. Uh, that's a completely different challenge, and this is where we can help. So this is the problem uh, that we solve. So basically, we allow AI and data science solutions to be tightly integrated with enterprise technologies, platforms, and systems. Uh, so, uh, we have a low-code, no-code solution that allows uh, uh, enterprise uh, integration flows, uh, API management, and uh, similar uh, solutions to be uh, tightly integrated with the AI and data science solutions, and that allows them to be deployed, operated, and scale in enterprise environments. Uh, so, uh, we are basically providing a path uh, to allow AI and data science solutions to be deployed in real enterprise environments. That's uh, what we're doing. So uh, some examples of what we're doing right now. For example, in Germany, we're dealing with a global uh, player in the transport industry. We're providing AI, um, we're providing the IT integration solutions uh, with SAP and other data sources for uh, uh, indoor, outdoor navigation a solution for maintenance and service. So SAP integration, integration to uh, document management system and other, um, and other data sources. Uh, also, we have a technology partner in Austria that has a natural language uh, understanding solution. So these guys are doing uh, telephony integration and customer care automation. And we're providing the access uh, to enterprise data and uh, systems. So if there's a dialogue going on and we sit in the middle, when uh, the dialogue requires information from the CRM system, we pull it in and provide it to the dialogue. Uh, when the customer confirms that some changes need to be done, we perform a fault tolerant uh, execution of the changes during the dialogue. So we are now, we, we, these guys have white labeled our, uh, our solution and it's part of their technology stack. So it enables them to scale, it enables them to deploy. We have a microservice based architecture. We can enable fault tolerance and real mission critical behavior uh, for AI and, and data science solutions. And basically we are connecting the two worlds that normally are separate. And in order to be really successful in the scale, they need to be brought together, and we are providing that glue. So we are here looking for both technology partners and also uh, SI partners that are active in this area and say, okay, we, for example, do uh, IoT, AI kind of integration projects, but we struggle with integration, uh, with actual IT integration, and that's the problem that we solve. Perfect, thank you. We are already in the Q&A. If you could grab the microphones <laughs> here, Jerry, with us. We've got three minutes and 20 seconds left in the Q&A. Are there any questions? Who'd like to start? Hi. Can you hear me? Yes. <laughs> Christy from Terra Ventures. So um, you didn't mention anything about your team. Can you elaborate more on that? Who are the people behind? Yes, okay, so I'm a CEO. I have a CMO in, uh, in um, England, uh, outside of London. Uh, the technical team is in Prague. Uh, we are fairly small. We're uh, uh, 10 people in total. We have a sales team in Germany and in Munich. Uh, also one technical person in Munich. Uh, so it's a relatively small team. Our idea is to scale through uh, having partners that provide services. So we have, serv we have uh, SI partners that, uh, that provide services for us and we concentrate on the technology. Does that answer your question? <laughs> Yes and no. I, I, you, you mentioned like who is in your team, but what is the background? What it makes your team to really okay. bring this solution to okay. life? Okay, that's okay. Great. So we're not a new team. We've been in business for 15 years. We already have uh, 
a global footprint regarding integration. So we do, we are serving more than 50 million end customers with over a thousand mission critical interfaces across Europe, supporting more than 10 billion euro of annual revenue for our customers with mission critical integration solutions. So our background is in enterprise integration. However, this, this area is really uh, very competitive and there are already global players in the market that have dominated it. So we are uh, specializing in allowing uh, AI and data science solutions to scale, bringing our expertise into this area where I believe it's really needed and it seems like it's working. It's getting a lot of traction right now. So our team is not an AI and data science team, but rather we have very strong technical integration for AI and data science technologies with the enterprise technologies. Perfect, any other questions? We still have one, uh, one minute and 30 seconds. Yeah, uh, hi David, thanks for hi. the presentation. Appreciate it. Um, I'd like to understand a little bit more about the business model. Yes. You know, because, uh, and also if you can give us a little bit of understanding of uh, uh, how uh, usually companies right now do that. Yeah, okay. For example, API connection. Great. Yeah, and uh, what is the advantage that you bring in on the yeah. long term? Yeah. So okay. why a client will pay on okay. a specific um, time frame yeah. and not one off for a service like yours? Uh, okay, so basically uh, we have different models. So with our model, uh, our partner in Austria, we are doing revenue sharing. So uh, they have white labeled our solution. So every time they deploy their solution, we're there because it solves a really concrete problem for them. How to integrate into the uh, customer systems, how to provide fault tolerant operations, how to provide operational transparency, control, governance. These are all things that our platform pr provides. So uh, we take a small percentage of their revenue that covers our licensing and uh, operational support costs, let's say, so our licensing and support. Uh, then we have uh, other engagements where we do it more on a, uh, like say, size of the system. So a classical, let's say, X number of CPU cores and that uh, translates into the support and licensing. Uh, it depends on the engagement, like with SA, it's SIs, we would normally do it in the more of the classic model, unless they're providing a managed service, and then we will do something like revenue sharing as well. Does that answer your question? Okay, okay. 